Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, circle with the center of fully inscribed uh, in an isosceles uh, trapezoid ABCD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these points are our points of tangency. And moreover, uh, the area of this circle is 400 times pi centimeter square. And furthermore, uh, this side uh, AD length is uh, 41 centimeter. And these uh, two angles are uh, congruent. In other words, uh, this angle is beta, then this angle is beta as well. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. This area, this area, this area, and this area combined. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's keep in mind that we are dealing with the isosceles uh, trapezoid. As uh, these uh, two angles are uh, congruent. So therefore, uh, this side uh, BC length uh, has got to be equal to this side uh, AD length. We know this side is uh, 41 centimeter. So therefore, uh, this side is going to be 41 as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that we are dealing with this uh, tangential uh, quadrilateral ABCD. And now let's recall the tangential quadrilateral uh, rule. The side length AB plus the side length CD must be equal to this side AD plus uh, the side BC. And here's our side uh, AB and this side uh, CD. This must be equal to the sum of these uh, two side lengths uh, AD and BC. And now I'm going to label uh, this side uh, AB length uh, as uh, lowercase a and this uh, side uh, cd length uh, as uh, lowercase b then let's substitute the values so this a b length is going to be lowercase a cd length is uh, lowercase b we know our a d length is uh, 41 and uh, b c length uh, is 41 uh, as well so therefore we are ended up with the a plus b must be equal to 41 plus 41. In other words, a plus b value simply turns out to be 82. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number one. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shed region area is going to be equal to the trapezoid uh, ABCD area minus the area of this uh, inscribed uh, circle. And now we know that our this uh, circle area has been given to us uh, as 400 uh, times uh, pi centimeter square. So therefore now our only task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, a, B, C, D. And now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to the height uh, H uh, times the sum of the bases uh, A plus B all over 2. And now we know that our A plus B value from this equation 1 uh, is uh, 82. So therefore now our only task is to find the height uh, H uh, of this uh, trapezoid. And now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, circle. Let's assume the radius uh, of this uh, circle is lowercase r. And now we are going to find the value of this uh, lowercase r. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area is always equal to pi times r square where lowercase r is the radius. And the area of this circle has been given to us as 400 times pi. So therefore we could write uh, pi times uh, lowercase r square equals to 400 uh, times uh, pi. And now I'm going to divide both sides uh, by pi. And here we can see this pi and pi is gone. Likewise, uh, this pi and pi is gone as well. So therefore, uh, r square value turns out to be 400. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our radius uh, 
lower case r value simply turns out to be 20 centimeter so that's the radius uh, r value of this uh, circle turns out to be 20 and here in this uh, next step i have connected uh, these points uh, e and uh, f and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers uh, and the points of uh, tangency are uh, collinear so no wonder these points e the center o and this point of tangency f lie on the very same line and now let's recall the circle theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees so no wonder these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees each since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines and now let's make an observation we can see this whole ef is the diameter of this circle that means it's twice the radius and our radius is 20 so therefore this diameter ef is going to be 40 centimeter and furthermore we can see that this ef is the height of this trapezoid so i'm going to label this height lowercase h and lowercase h value is going to be 40 and now we are going to calculate the area of this trapezoid a b c d and let's recall the area of trapezoid once again area equals to height h times a plus b all over 2 and we know our a plus b value is 82 and our height h value is 40 so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so 40 times a plus b value is uh, 82 all over 2 and if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us 1640 centimeter square so thus the trapezoid area turns out to be 1640 and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded region we already figured out our uh, trapezoid area over here and the area of the circle uh, is uh, 400 times pi let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so our trapezoid area is 1640 minus the circle area is 400 times pi centimeter square so thus after all the calculations and manipulations the area of this green shade region turns out to be 1640 minus 400 times pi centimeter square and that's going to be approximately equal to 383.363 centimeter square as well. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.